Revo Uninstaller. Uninstall things that won't. Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for AskLeo.com. Let's dive right into Windows 11 over here. One of the situations we run into is that the normal way to uninstall applications is to go to the installed apps list in Windows settings and then pick whatever app we want to uninstall and click the uninstall button. In this case, for example, there's 7-Zip and sure enough, it has an uninstall button. But sometimes for a variety of reasons, uninstall fails or an uninstall fails to complete or an uninstall leaves traces that are for whatever reason causing other problems. Then we need to pull in a third party tool. The tool that I like to use is Revo Uninstaller. Now I'm just going to search for Revo and you'll see that one of the first results in fact is a web search for Revo Uninstaller. RevoUninstaller.com is the place to go. They will encourage you to purchase their pro version. I want to be clear. You do not need to purchase anything. The free version of the tool will do everything we need. We'll go over to downloads. Revo Uninstaller freeware is what you want. Again, they're pushing the pro version and that's fine. If you want to reward them with some money, that's great but it's not necessary. With the setup downloaded, I'll click on it, run it, and install the program. At this point, I'm also done with my browser, so I'll make that go away for our clarity. We accept the appropriate license agreement, click on Next. We do or don't create a desktop shortcut, that's up to you, and click on Install. And we'll go ahead and launch Revo Uninstaller. Now, the uninstaller is listing a bunch of applications that it knows that it can uninstall, things that are present on your machine that have been installed in the past. To uninstall something, what we would do, and I'm just going to pick tree size free here as a, uh, a candidate. To be clear, I'm not having a problem with any of these applications. I'm just using tree size free as an example to uninstall using Revo. I'll right click on it and click on uninstall. Now, the first thing that it will do, it will offer to make a system restore point along the way. That's up to you. I do want to be clear, and I probably should have started with this. This is one of those things where it probably is a good idea to take a system image backup before you run any kind of an advanced uninstaller, just in case. I've never, ever had a problem with Revo, but it's a safety net. And similarly, a system restore point is probably not a bad thing to go ahead and create either. We'll click on continue. Are you sure you want to completely remove? Now you'll notice what it's done here is it's actually run tree sizes uninstaller first. In other words, it's actually done what we would have done had we just gone to the settings app. It starts with that. So we'll go ahead and let the tree size free uninstaller uninstall. They of course would like some feedback. We're going to skip to that. Would you like the application settings to be deleted as well? This is again, still the tree size free uninstall application. Revo actually hasn't done anything yet. Tree size free was successfully removed. Great. But now we're here in Revo uninstaller. It gives us the opportunity to perform post uninstall cleanup. Now there are a couple of different scanning modes. They characterize them as safe, moderate, and advanced. Which to choose is kind of iffy. I tend to just choose moderate every time I go with the safe approach, unless for whatever reason, I've been really having some problems with the program or the uninstall really failed, or there's just some other reason in the back of my mind that says I want to be more aggressive. Again, that image backup would protect you if you actually did something too aggressive. But in this case, I'm just going to hit moderate and let it scan. And you'll notice that what it's done is it has found things in the registry that were left behind by tree size free. Now, sometimes this is absolutely intentional. For example, if you uninstall a program and then reinstall it later, it's kind of nice to have your settings preserved. Well, 
That usually happens because there are still settings left in the registry. On the other hand, if you want a truly complete and clean removal and the uninstaller doesn't offer the option to remove all settings and that kind of thing, then this would be the thing to do. You can scroll through the list and see exactly what these things are. It honestly, it's basically so much technical gobbledygook. I'll absolutely admit that. I typically will just select all and hit delete. Am I sure? Yes, I'm sure. Now, it also found leftover files and folders. These are, again, the same as settings. Sometimes there are things that the application will create for you that you might want to see preserved across an uninstall and a later reinstall. If that's not the case, if you truly want to get rid of everything related to the application, then once again, select all and delete. Same thing, you can go through and you can look at what you're about to delete. This is probably makes a little bit more sense than the registry, but the bottom line here is so much of what is involved here is not something that honestly you're ever expected to look at or understand. So we'll just go ahead and select them all and click on delete. Am I sure? Yes, I'm sure. And we're done. Now, tree size free has been completely uninstalled, not just by running the uninstaller to begin with, but also by cleaning up some things that were left over after the uninstall happened. Now, there's this other section here for Windows apps. This is a tool that can sometimes help you get rid of applications that you can't get rid of any other way. I'm just going to go ahead and click on the Xbox game bar here because that's something I never, ever use. And if I'm not mistaken, it's one of the applications that can't easily be uninstalled using the settings app. I'll right click on it and click on uninstall. Am I sure? Yes, I'm sure. And you'll notice that it actually used PowerShell to perform the deletion. That's not uncommon. In fact, many of the online workarounds for deleting some of these formerly undeletable apps are exactly that, PowerShell scripts. So it's basically done it for you. We'll go ahead and scan in case there's other things that are left over. And sure enough, there's some leftover registry entries. Again, I'll select them all and delete them. And that's it. We have now successfully deleted the Xbox Game Bar, potentially something that we wouldn't have been able to delete through the Settings app. But you can see here that all of these Windows apps that are listed here are now things that you can delete using Revo Uninstaller. There are, of course, other tools and techniques that are available in Revo Uninstaller, but this is one of my go-to tools if I run into problems with any kind of an uninstall. Hopefully, that gives you an extra tool, another tool to have in your toolbox in case you run into problems as well. For updates, for comments, for links related to this topic and more, visit askleo.com 4267. I'm Leo Notenboom, and this is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.